Total War needs a new engine, and I'm going to give you three reasons why. Reason number one, the AI. AI in this game is completely terrible, probably one of the worst in the industry. Number two, the size of the battles. Uh, if you look at ancient battles, a lot of ancient battles are 50,000 to 120,000 men, depending on the region and where it is in the world, but they're not matching up to actually what ancient battle sizes are. Number three, the current Total War engine does not take advantage of modern CPU processors and their capabilities, and that needs to change. In today's video, we're actually scaling up on unit size to see how far you can push the current engine on the number of troops in a single battle. The first test, and as we go through, there's going to be different testing levels. I'm going to talk about different things as we go through the video. My hardware is a 14900K. 4090 GPU, DDR5 RAM, uh, 6600 megahertz, and all of this is on a 990 Pro SSD. Uh, so top of the line of what you'd expect on a computer, so like you can't get much better than this currently. And this is how it's going to perform. Our first test is 14,042 troops, and like you would suspect, it runs buttery smooth. It's just a low troop count. You're looking at 7,000 per side, and in my opinion, that's not enough from Total War. Uh, the AI actually does handle better on these smaller troop count battles. And as we go on further into the testing, you're going to see that this gets worse on every front. Our second test is 28,082 troops. And like you would you know, expect, it runs buttery smooth. Um, again, though, this is not what I think would be ideal. Um, you're looking at 14,000 troops on each side. I don't think that's enough. Look up ancient battles and the size of ancient battles. Uh, there's a lot more soldiers involved. I would say uh, 30 to 40,000 on one side is pretty common in ancient battles. But you can see it all the way up to 50 to 120,000 people um, on one side or total for the entire battle. So there are larger numbers out there in history. And let's not even talk about Japan and China. And all those places were hundreds of thousands of people per battle on each side uh, so uh, there was a lot a lot more uh, on those fronts and Total War just has not met up, met up to that expectation in my mind you can see here the AI the defensive AI mind that on the attacking side the defensive AI is not doing as well compared to the first video uh, it should be able to perfectly block my formations or at least try to counter them and it's not it's a pretty dumb AI and probably one of the, the worst AIs in 2024 for any gaming company out there, especially one as renowned as this in a triple A kind of title area. Our third test here is 42,122 troops. And as you can see, this is uh, tripling the unit size pretty much. And this is the first level where we actually run into some issues. Um, the game never utilizes my hardware very effectively. It's no nowhere near maxing it out at all. Um, it seems like it just kind of relaxed. Uh, ignore the temperatures on my CPU. That is CPU package temps. Um, some are going to run hotter, but there's it's also another issue I'm working on. It's not uh, thermal throttling or anything like that, guys. Later on in this video, you're going to see some stuttering that kicks up. And it stutters for a while and eventually goes away, but it does take a minute. As it, The reason why it goes away is actually units are getting taken out and reducing the number on the battle. And it actually gets where it's running well. My theory is it has to do with animations. Um, when too many units are doing animations, it actually starts to run badly. The engine just can't handle it. But later on, you will see that in this test. But it is manageable. If somebody was looking to play at the highest troop count possible and still have stutter that they could put up with, uh, 42,122 troops is a level you could do it. Um, you could definitely put up with it at this level. It's just not ideal for somebody who wants perfection. And as you can see, the AI is still not doing very well on this one as well either. <laughs>
our next test, I just wanted to see if it would load in uh, 10x times, so the maximum number of troops that I could fit at 140,402, or at least the maximum number I could fit with two armies. Uh, the number of troops here is a lot. Um, that would be 70,000 per side, and would be like super ideal for me if we get to battles this big. But as you can see, it loads up, it starts, and then we have like the lowest FPS possible, and they don't even move. Like, they have a move order right now, but it's literally stuttering so bad that they do slightly move over time, but it's very, very slow. Um, I think not recorded, but past this, I ran it for a few minutes, and they hardly moved. Uh, within a few minutes time it's not playable i would love for total war to get to this level and i think it'd be great if we could get to battles this large uh, for both sides Our next test here is 38,000 troops, and this was actually the first time stuttering pops up. And the reason why it's so exact is because this is where the stuttering will pop up at. Um, it does it in this video, and I try to correct the stuttering with settings to see if it would go away. And as you can see later on, that does not have much effect on this. But again, just like the higher troop count, the stuttering will go away eventually. It's just gonna take some time. And as you can see, even with the lowest possible settings, the stuttering's still there. So your settings don't really affect it, it's just the engine can't support this. Like the engine's just struggling at this point and it's not optimized, it's not up to date, it's old. This is just to showcase how bad the AI is. It's, what is this formation? Like, what is it doing here? And several times throughout making this video, I would see the AI units just run in circles, just not moving correctly. Uh, our final test here is gonna be this troop count at 36,242. And this is the maximum number of troops I ran in a full battle where there was no stuttering, there was no issues. It ran smooth, it ran perfect. So if you have a high-end PC and you're looking to run the biggest battles possible, this is where it would be at. And obviously, if you change some variables, it could affect this number. If you try a different map, I did the same map over and over. Uh, you put this on a city siege, it may run terrible on a city siege. So there are some variables there. And again, if you don't have the exact same hardware, I don't know how it's gonna perform on your end. But again, this is not to the troop count that Total War needs to be at. Um, you know, 36,000, you know, you're, you divide that in half, uh, you're looking at what, uh, 18,000 per side? Is that right there, is that my math correct? Yeah, so 18,000 per side. I don't think 18,000 is enough troops on each side. Look back at Ancient Battles, it's not enough. Total War needs to step up at games. I would like 36,000 on one side, would be what I would consider acceptable for a new Total War engine. 
Um, if they could do 36,000 on one side, 36,000 on the other, I would actually feel like that I'm able to recreate and re-experience historical battles in the way that they actually were fought. Uh, let me know what you think about Total War in the future in the comments. This is what I would want. I know not everyone's going to share the same opinion, but my goal would be to have a smart AI that is so good you might even think it's a player. Like something can actually challenge the player and have levels of AI. And we are entering the AI universe uh, in the real world, so I think having something like that for Total War would be easy at this point or very possible. Two, I would like to see unit battles increase uh, the number of troops total. Uh, especially for ancient battles. Obviously, if they want to have a lower troop count to fit certain time periods, that's fine. But I think that you should be able to have way more troops on each side than this. Um, my ideal would be 50,000 and 50,000 per side, but I would settle uh, probably for this number per each side. If there was 36,000 troops on each side, I would be happy with that. So yeah, that's kind of my goals. I want at least Total War to double its unit count currently, if not more. The third thing is to tie together all of this. If someone's gonna go out and buy top of the line hardware, games need to be able to utilize it. There is no excuse that other AAA and modern titles can utilize the full power of your hardware, your processor, your GPU, your RAM, and Total War can't. So yeah, those are my three things, guys. Let me know what you think about this video. It's a lot longer than my normal videos. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video and let me know what you think of the future of Total War. Uh, do you think it needs to update its engine? Do you think these changes need to be made? Um, do you care more about mechanic changes than you do about these changes? Um, what interests you in this? But that's my opinion on this guys. Thank you. I'll catch you next time and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.